Oh my god, this battery is about to die. What's good? Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips on how to maintain your computer as well as some things that you can do to kind of speed up your computer a little bit more. I grew up in a very, very tech savvy family. Uh, my dad is chief of IT. He's the program at the Pentagon. My brother is a computer science graduate and while I was in college, I was studying computer information systems and I've been coding since I was 11 years old and I made my very first email account when I was five. So. I've been I've been down with the tech for a while. <laughs> I mean, since I was pretty much born, I've learned a lot about computer hardware and computer software and the maintenance of both of those things. And I just wanted to share like all my knowledge with you guys. Also, a majority of you guys, a majority of my subscribers are um, like college aged ladies. And I just want to get you guys a little bit more like excited and involved with science and technology and coding because those are three things that are so, so important to me. Those are three things that I just like, that was my environment growing up and I'm really passionate about them. I especially want to get you guys involved in coding. Oh my gosh, like at least try it. Take one course on Code Academy. You never know, you might like it. I mean, even Carly Kloss, who was like a supermodel, is enrolled in university to learn how to code. So you never know, you might really enjoy it. Also, it's a very male-dominated industry. So it would be pretty cool to have all these women having this industry shook. But yeah, okay, anyways, I am rambling. <laughs> okay, so before I get into everything, oh, I'm so excited to film this video, okay. Um, I just wanna share with you guys two things that you absolutely, absolutely must have. Um, the first thing is a microfiber cloth, and this is really good for dusting off all of your technology, your computer screens, your monitors. And then the second thing that is a must have is a can of compressed air. Literally, this will just blast dust off of any surface and any like corner, any nook and cranny. It will dislodge any particles from underneath your keyboard keys, like food crumbs. I know y'all eat at the computer. So literally all you have to do is and it's gone. So yeah, these two are a must have. Y'all must buy these right now immediately if you do not already have them. So tip number one that I have is empty your recycle bin often. I was having some problems last week with um, Adobe Premiere Pro while I was editing some videos and for some reason the program wasn't saving or rendering any of my projects and I was getting so frustrated because I really needed to put out a video the next day. So I checked the like available or free space on my hard drive and I found out that I only had 800 megabytes of space left. So I went into my recycle bin and then I emptied everything out. It took around like 20 minutes for it to completely get rid of anything so you can imagine how much shit was in there. <laughs> and after it was all finished, I rechecked the available disk space on my hard drive and emptying the recycle bin cleared up 60 gigs of space. Meaning I had 60 gigs of trash that I didn't use on my computer just sitting there. So if you don't remember the last time you emptied your recycle bin, now would be a pretty good time to do that. <laughs> Number two, remove programs that you don't need or you don't use. So after figuring out that I had 800 megabytes of space left on my hard drive, I decided to do my full computer maintenance routine because I haven't really done anything to maintain my computer in like six months. So. This was long overdue, honestly. So I looked at all of the installed programs on my computer and there were programs there that I haven't used in like, since 2013. So I would highly recommend checking all the installed programs on your computer and if you haven't been using them and you didn't even know they were on there, just uninstall it. It will free up a lot of space on your hard drive and it will get your computer working a little bit faster. So if you are on a PC running Windows 7, 8, or 10, you can go into the start menu, type in add or remove programs, click on add or remove programs, and a window will pop up of all of the programs that you have installed on your computer. You can even view them or categorize them by the date it was installed, the date you last used that program, the size of the program, and things like that. So it's a really, really helpful tool. Malware, viruses, spyware, Asia. What is the difference? If you are on the internet, you probably have heard at least one of these three terms before, but just to 
quickly break it down for you guys in like layman's terms. Viruses and spyware are types of malware. And malware is most commonly defined as software that was written or created with the intention of harming your computer. So malware is basically any type of malicious software. So that's why viruses and spyware are a type of malware. So malware is kind of like an umbrella term if you want to think about it that way. Nearly all spyware has malicious intent because that is the type of software that actually uh, tracks your internet activity. For example, keyloggers are a type of spyware that can actually log everything that you type on your computer, whether those are social media logins, bank account information, credit card information. If you're doing online shopping, it will literally log everything that you type. Protect your computer at all costs, folks. Run a full system scan weekly. First of all, if you don't have antivirus software, you need to download one right now immediately. From this day on, you cannot continue to surf the web without protecting your information or protecting your computer. After you do that, run a full system scan. Now this might take hours to do if you've never run a full system scan before. Like I recently scanned one of my friend's computers and she had, she literally had 10,000 viruses on there. And she was wondering why her computer was acting so slow. The cool thing about most antivirus software is that it will allow you to set a schedule to do automatic system scans. So what I like to do personally is I like to, wow, I'm losing my voice again. I need to get some water actually. I will be right back. Ah! All right, we are back in business. What I like to do is I like to set <clears throat> my schedule for automatic system scans at a time that I'm sleeping. So I'll usually do it like, I'll pick a random day, like Thursdays at three o'clock in the morning. It will scan while I'm sleeping. Choose a day or a time where you are going to be sleeping so that you don't have to worry about it. It just does it automatically. Regularly delete files that you don't need. I don't know why I said that like I was rapping. Another reason why your computer might be running slow is because you just have too much shit on there. Like I said, empty recycle bin, go through every single one of your folders, delete any files that you absolutely don't need ones that are trash, and then once you delete them, empty the recycle bin and you will be on your way. Update your operating system. Okay, show of hands, how many of y'all are guilty of clicking remind me later when your computer prompts you to update your operating system? Okay, so nearly all of you, okay, got it. So there are a number of security risks and just general software problems that can come from not updating your operating system. So make sure you are updating your operating system. One thing that you can do is that you can also set a schedule for when your computer does operating system updates. You can choose to do it automatically. I personally also choose a time where I'm sleeping. So, you know, just something to think about. Once a week, dust off your monitor and then dust off your keyboard. And that's just to keep things looking mighty fine. And also what I do maybe like every three months or so is I actually open up my case and then I uh, spray the fan and things like that just to make sure that things are working nicely and my computer's not overheating, especially in the summertime because it's so freaking hot. Also, I know a lot of people do this because sometimes it's like the most affordable thing, but Try not to use public Wi-Fi. It is so easy to hack computers when you're connected to like a coffee shop or like a Starbucks. Even sometimes even like airport Wi-Fi's are just not a good idea, but unless you absolutely have to be connected to a public network, try to limit the amount of things that you do on that network. Especially, do not do online baking while you're connected to a public network. If you keep really, really important or like sentimental files on your computer, like pictures or videos or like, I don't know, resumes or things like that, I would highly recommend you backing up your files to either like a cloud storage, like iCloud or box.net or what it, like Dropbox, or backing it up to an external hard drive. I personally use a network drive. It's kind of like an external hard drive and a cloud storage hybrid because it's technically its own hard drive, but it connects to my computer and my laptop wirelessly. You might want to look into like Dropbox or you can just buy 
any external hard drive from like Best Buy or something and then just back up your um, files and do this <sighs> I don't know, at whatever frequency you prefer. I prefer to do it every week because files change on my computer all the time. But you know, whatever works for you in your situation. Another thing that you can do to keep your computer running fast, especially when you boot up your computer. If you restart your computer or you start your computer and you notice that it's running really, really slow and all these programs are starting up that you don't want to start up, one thing that you can do is to actually disable programs from launching when you start up your computer. These are called startup programs and if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can go into the start menu and type msconfig and within those settings you can actually disable or enable programs from booting up when your computer starts. If you're using Windows 10, I believe that you can access those startup settings, I think, um, through the task manager. If you do control delete and you do t the task manager, I, I'm pretty sure that there will be a tab at the top where you can uh, disable or enable startup programs. Another thing that you can do is do a disk cleanup, a cult favorite that I've been using for forever, is a free program called CC Cleaner. Basically what it will do is remove files that aren't being used. So like temporary files, uh, files that got left behind when you uninstalled a program, just files that are taking up space for no reason. So remember you can check the description box for like links and things like that to everything that I'm saying. And last but not least, I highly recommend a system defrag. If you've never done a system defrag on your PC, do one and just watch how much faster your computer will perform. So basically what a system defrag does is, um, let me give you an analogy. Think of all the files on your computer as like little puzzle pieces. And, and you know, it's hard to see the picture of the puzzle when all of these pieces are scattered around in places that they don't need to be. What a system defrag will do is locate all these similar puzzle pieces or similar file types and it will like group them together and it will piece them together and put them into all the places that they need to be to create the image of the puzzle or to streamline your computer's processes. That makes sense. So those are my tips for maintaining your computer and some things that you can do to make your computer run a little bit faster. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I do want to continue making more videos on like technology because like I said, it's like a really huge part of my life and wow, my battery is about to die. And I really want to get you gals more involved in technology and coding. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you next time. Peace! This is my iPhone 6s Plus, and this video was very, very highly requested. Uh, people were on my ass asking when I was going to put this up, 